battle video in just a moment. I uh, wanted to do an announcement though from the community. Uh, for those of you that have uh, gone to Gen Con or never gone to Gen Con, um, unfortunately Gen Con officially uh, for HeroScape is not going to happen this year. Uh, while Gen Con itself is going to try and do some form of event, um, the details are still pretty gray and um, the organizers just felt like it probably wasn't going to be the best uh, situation for the HeroScape community based off of the restrictions from Gen Con. But uh, we have a community effort um, from Orc Elf Army 1 and uh, Dragon Ruler and some of the other organizers that organize Gen Con events are going to be holding ScapeCon. So we're still having a HeroScape convention, you guys. And what's exciting is it's still in Indiana Indianapolis, July 29th through August 1st is going to be ScapeCon, and it's going to be in Indianapolis. Um, it's going to be still a four-day convention tournament. The events have been posted, and it's going to be just like Gen Con for HeroScape. Details in terms of pricing are still coming, um, but to give you more of an idea of what to expect, I've posted in uh, my video link both uh, the podcast of Orc Elf Army 1. He's got a podcast called Casters of Valhalla, First of all, it's a, a lot of really good content with lots of different podcasts uh, covering just HeroScape strategy, tournaments, uh, you know, gameplay units, all kinds of different stuff. So great resource for HeroScape content. But he just released two podcasts that cover this very thing. He uh, goes through the details, goes through announcements, what to expect. And then I'm also linking the uh, thread on HeroScapers.com that covers basically everything up to this point. That's where you're gonna get live updates. That's where you're gonna see all the events that have been posted. Again, all these details, I'm not gonna bother covering right now just because it's, um, you know, there's a lot of intricacies that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just relaying it and they're not all nailed down anyway. If I were you and you want to uh, start looking into this, uh, start saving up now. Um, obviously, if you're nearby, you can drive in and it's a little bit cheaper than having to fly. Um, but if you want to fly in, by all means, like, uh, make it happen. Uh, it's going to be an incredible event. I plan on live streaming as much of it as I can. If I can't live stream due to, you know, bandwidth or whatever, then, you know, of course I'll, I'll record it and then, you know, post it later. But, uh, you know, live streaming does allow people to kind of be there as if they're in the experience. So do my best to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Um, Again, more details to come. I'll keep announcing this uh, as I do videos with more details as they as they uh, find out more. So, um, yeah, why don't we get started on the battle video then? Here today with my lovely wife, Lady Heroescape. In fact, she even has the Lady Heroescape shirt on. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't give her any juju. Uh, today we are doing um, a an old uh, game type that I haven't done for quite some time. Actually, I realized I need to get back into it. Um, it's I Can Beat That Army. So this is actually part three of I Can Beat That Army. And this is something that honestly, I think I can keep going just for years down the road because it's such a fun uh, way to play the game. The idea is, as you've seen in past videos, is that I started out with one army and uh, basically whoever won that game after that first initial game, the winning army basically continues on kind of like a uh, king of the hill type of deal right you you play till you lose type of thing and so uh, you subscribers submit armies that you think can beat that army and then i you know we keep playing it as time goes on so this is part three um and my original army that won part one is still undefeated we've got four squads of warforged and elta hail 460 point armies and then on lady hero escape side we uh, i randomly selected with a d20 roll uh, which army submitted by the subscribers in the past uh, video, so that was part two, which which army to pick. And Bishop 2003, we picked your army, ra well, randomly, right, rolled the d20, and the dice god spoke and said, uh, three squads of death knights, two, uh, what are they, uh, death, no, skull demons, that's right, two skull demons, and then uh, two squads of banshees of Durga Swamp. So quite an interesting uh, matchup here. I'm really excited to see how it goes. And um, yeah, I think we're ready. So we'll go ahead and roll for initiative. Uh, what is that, a seven? Seven to one. <laughs> Great. All right. One on Elta Hale. Can move one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. 
number one on my banshees of the swampy place. We have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Loden. Okay, so D20 year old that uh, doesn't, really doesn't help, help anyone, actually. Lame yeah, that is pretty lame. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That's initiative plus eight. Initiative plus eight. Those are both kind of. Yeah, so mm -hmm. also not terribly useful. Helpful. Okay. <laughs> Turn two on Elta Hale. She'll just come over swinging one, two, three, four, five, and she'll mm -hmm. smash that guy. So height six attack. Oh. Serious. Uh, two. So <laughs> uh, dead. Number two. That was not supposed to happen. Ugh, great heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. Turn three on Elta Hale. She's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And he's gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we're gonna attack that one. Okay. With four. Four, sweet. Three. three. So I have to get two shields to block it. Oh, almost. So he's dead. Okay, and then we're gonna piercing screen. Um, that that one? Okay, he auto dies. That is nasty against the Warforged. Rolling for initiative. Eight. Eleven. Plus eight. She wins because she gets plus eight anyway. Okay. One on my banshees. On the banshees. Yes. Yes, that is true. This guy's gonna go one, two, three, four. He's gonna go one, two, three. And we are gonna attack this one. Okay. Go for it. Three, right? Mm hmm. For what? Blocked. Oh, that's lame. Okay, um, he's gonna attack that one. Okay. One. Blocked. What the heck? <sighs> that sucks. All right, we're gonna do. That's it. Oh, the screen. screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. That's right. Ugh, I forgot about the screen. Come on, babe. On that one. Okay. That guy gets nerfed. Turn one on Elta Hale. She's going to run in one, two, three, four, five, six. Really? And yeah, do her that. special attack, which will target both. Any of them. Two for the first guy. Yeah, yeah I never did. Okay, and then the next guy. Yes. You suck. <laughs> okay, number two on Death Knights of Valkyrie. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And two of my homies can follow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, seven. All right. Well, I guess I could go five with him. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Okay, sure. All right, turn two on Elta Hale. Go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. My turn three. Um, Warforged. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one for initiative, <laughs> seven with the plus eight. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, number one on my death, knights. Gonna go one, two, three, four, and park it there. Well, let's see. Let's bring this guy up. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's Warforged movement. Five. Okay. Okay, turn one on the Warforged. 
We'll move these guys up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then let's go one, two, three, four. He's gonna go one, two, three. And go one. Um, down there. And that's it? Mm hmm. Okay. Turn two, Warforged. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Three. Dead knights. Uh, we'll pop him up. And then. Um, we can go one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll go one, two, three, four, and tactical switch off the glyph. Five. And we will attack there. For nothing. Okay. And that is end round. Rolling for initiative, seven plus eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 17. So dumb. One, two, three. Okay, ready? He's going to mm -hmm. go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then attack that guy. All right. One, two, five. three. Sweet. Okay, three. three. I need two shields. Don't get them. He did. Mm hmm. That's All right. right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Turn one on the Warforged. We'll just go one, two, three, four, five and take height. Go one, two, three, four, five and take height. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And we'll tactical switch with that guy. And we'll go ahead and attack him first. For nothing, we'll attack down on this one with this guy for one. Oy. Okay, defense five. Mm -hmm. And any more or just nope. five? Just okay. that. You got one? Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. Barely. Attacking down on that guy for four. Oh. There we go. Oh, come on. That's right. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, number two on my death knights. I'll just attack that guy. Okay. One, two, three. Just four. Yeah. Huh. yeah. We'll just attack straight on. Okay. Two dice. Two. That's an auto kill. Sweet. And um, then we will attack this guy straight on. Okay. One. Blocked. All right, turn two on the Warforged. All right, guys. You got to do something here. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just move there for height attacks. Okay. Attacking down on that guy. Three, let's go. Let's get some kills. That's five. Nice. Sorry, I just haven't played with these guys enough. To yeah. Yuck. He did. Okay, then he's attacking down on that guy. For two. Yeah. This is gross. All right. Now attacking down on that guy. For one. Oh, there's all the shields. Yeah. Okay. okay so he's going to come down, go one, two, three, come up around one, two, three, four, five. He's going to attack up. Okay. With an attack of three. Okay. I get one defense. 
For one. It's gonna attack him. He gets four. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. There you go. Auto kill. Okay, turn three on the Warforged. So one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Where was he? Here? No, he was there. Mm -hmm. He's gonna drop down there. And then we're gonna switch him. With that guy. And we're gonna attack there. For one. Five. Mm-hmm. Ooh, barely. Okay, he's attacking down on that one. For two. Five again? Mm hmm Two. Oh, darn. And he's attacking down on that guy. For three. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yep. Next round, rolling for initiative. 11 plus 8. Ah, uh, wins. Yeah. Okay, Warforge. And switch with that guy. And attack him. For one. Great. Oh, wow. That's my third or fourth time doing that. Well, he blanked. Okay, he's going to switch with this guy. And attack him. For one. Blocked. Really? And he'll attack down on that Death Knight. For two. <sighs> oh. Okay. One Death Knight left and a few Skull Demons. Okay, he's attacking down. Three. I gotta roll two to block it. I don't, so he's dead. Okay. Yep. And two. that's an auto kill. Uh-oh, my Warforged are pretty thinned out, so turn two on the Warforged. Okay, well, I've got to kill the last Death Knight. Uh, let's just go one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yep, a little tactical switch with this guy. And hopefully get a kill. Okay, so attacking down for two. Oh, no, down goes the last deadlight. <laughs> Lots I of swear. blanks, five defense. Okay, attacking there for two. Two defense. And dead. Okay. Well, that is end of round for me. Or end of, oh yeah, that's end of your round. Okay, so that means I have turn three on Eltahale. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and grab initiative. Rolling for initiative, 12 plus eight, 28 to eight. All right. Turn one on the Warforged. Move up one, two, three, four. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And I have to roll minus one attack against these guys, so we'll do an attack there for two. Mm -hmm. All right. Blocked. And he'll attack there for two. All right. And just one wound on the sword. Yep. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, number one on the skull demon. Um, disengage and... Oh, okay, disengage. Oh, he's safe. For three. three. Ouch. Okay. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. That's not good. She's half-life. Okay, turn two on Elta Hail. Um, Thunder Step, which allows her to disengage, and she's going to go for that guy. Gives her an attack of six. Come on, Altael. For three. Thanks. 
Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. So he gets ganked. I do have to roll a wound against myself, though. And I take a wound. Ouch. So she's got two life left. Okay. Well, uh, that was my two. That was your two? Okay. Turn three on Elta Hale. Give up that attack. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to move her back there for now. Okay. Your turn. I was right. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <sighs> okay. Um, two, so I can block it, and I do. A four to five. five. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, go for it. Uh, I should have gone there. I should have gone here. Am I get disengaged? No. no well, if you'd stuck. killed him, you could have right. done the same thing. True. No, because I would have You Well, you still have had to disengage, yeah. Right. Oh, but right. You move here, you kill him, then you don't have to disengage. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that this time. Okay. Okay. Oh, three. So I have to block with both. I don't. So he dies. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, turn one on the Warforged. They're gonna sacrifice their bodies. Uh, let's see. And then... One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, and I guess I get two attacks of two. See if I can get a wound on him for nothing. Ugh. Uh, one. Ugh. Attack that guy. Okay. Um, two, three, four. Dang it. Ah, your attacks. <laughs> ah. Shoot. Okay, Elta Hill. Uh, I can't risk the thunder step, I don't think. I'm gonna do a normal. Okay, she's just gonna do a normal attack on the dude for two. Three, let's attack. Um, let's just attack Elta Hill. Okay. Two. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, yes. Whew. Okay, Elta Hill, let's go. She's just gonna use her normal attack of five on Mr. Skull Demon. Uh, come on. For two. Gotta roll better than that, lady. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm defending. Dang my, it. My dates are warming up. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Next round of rolling for initiative. Eighteen. Whoops. Oh, come on. Okay. 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 Ten. All right. Darn. Turn one. Come on, Elta Hill. I need you, lady. I need you, lady. Attack of five. Come on. Oh, come on! Okay, number one on my school demon. Dang it. Big attack on Elta Hale. Yeah. There it goes. That's game. Oh! oh. Is it now? <laughs> wow. Come on. This is getting insane. Okay, Elta Hale. Let's go. <laughs> Hell to hell. There we go. That should do it. Hopefully, maybe. We'll never know until we know, which is right now, I guess. So, four. Ah! <laughs> and that's how the game ends on a blank. On ah. Seriously, that's, that's my. Uh, oh my gosh. Those guys sure. tanked so hard against the Warforce. Yeah. And I knew they would too, which is why. 
I because the the banshees counter the warforged and the death knights and this guy they counter her because if she gets swarmed by them, she's only rolling two defense and she gets ganked by them real quick with, even with just six life. Yeah, she defended great. So I that's why I sent her out early to because I was I was hoping you'd send out the banshees because mm -hmm. you my yeah, assumption was you were gonna well. think I was gonna well no the strategy piece it's like. Banshees are fast, they can grab glyphs, and if I come out with Warforged, you can counter the Warforged. Right. So I said, well, I'm going to counter the counter by going with her first. Mm -hmm. I ganked a couple Banshees, and you still clean, you still killed a couple Warforged, but my point was to make that nullify them, mm -hmm. then bring out the Warforged and have the Warforged clean as, uh, up as much of these guys as they could, and then leave Elta Hill to try and clean up the Skull Demons at the end. That was that was my plan. That was my condi win condition, because... Yeah. When you were when you thought I was gonna run into the start zone, I thought about it, but I was like, no, because if I go into the start zone, you're gonna surround me. She'll be dead in two turns because mm -hmm. that's like three attacks of three, you know. And I was just like, that's she. Then Warforged, they lose against him. So you, mm -hmm. if you kill her on that last attack, which really honestly should have happened, then I, I it's almost an auto lose. Like my Warforged can't right. do anything. This is a good army. I just wish I didn't blink so much. There were like three attacks with the Death Knights that you had blinked. Yeah, big points. Oh, five. Five times. Yeah, I blinked well, at least five. Well, someone, times someone, go back and count that because it might have been that high. I don't know, but it was cl well, it was really close. Even with the blanks, you the still banshees. made it really close. Well, yeah, maybe three of them blanked and him and the banshees. Yeah, blanks with the Death Knights because the two defense <sighs> banshees, you can expect them to blank, but. Yeah. The the Death Knights with the five defense, you can expect some defense, one like one or two shields each roll on average. So, well, that was a uh, good and still even a close game, even with the with the blanked defense. That was still uh, intense to the end. But the Warforged Army and Eltail Army still stand on top of the mountain of Ken. Uh, I can beat that army. So again, this is the series. I can beat that army. Um, and the original army I provided still hasn't been beaten yet. So, um, playing against me. <laughs> <laughs> there, there does seem to be a common denominator, but, yeah. but here's the point is the, the submitters submit a counter army. So there is a bit of an advantage there that the units supposedly should be countering my army. So, um, anyway, regardless, still good game, still fun, and it was still close. In fact, the second game, the previous one with the other army was really close to the end too, if, if you remember right. I think that was the Ashra or, and the Elves or something. But anyway, um, again, uh, 460 point army, subscribers, well, not subscribers, anyone really, um, can comment on the video and provide an army, uh, that consists of 460 points. Uh, and next time we do this, I'll roll the d20 and randomly pick one of those armies that you guys submit to face this army. Again, the purpose is to submit an army that you think can beat this army. So four squads of Warforged and Elta Hale is the army to beat. And, uh, yeah, that they're three and zero right now. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. It's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time.